Hi friends, today let's put Neville Longbottom from the Harry Potter series into the spotlight. <laughs> Neville is one of Harry's friends from Gryffindor House who was almost the chosen one. Because you're wrong. <laughs> Harry's heart did beat for us. For all of us. It's not over. Neville played a huge part in Voldemort's downfall as he killed Nagini, one of Voldemort's Horcruxes. <laughs> Neville is an English name that comes from a Norman French word that means new town. Neville was also the surname of a noble and powerful warrior lineage in medieval England. Longbottom is a pretty common surname in the UK. However, interestingly enough, it's also the name of one of the Hobbit villages in the Shire from the Lord of the Rings series. Neville owned two wands throughout the series. The first one is the wand he inherited from his father when he was 11. However, this one broke during the battle in the Department of Mysteries. We don't know any of the characteristics of this wand. But when it broke, Neville replaced it with a different wand and we do know what this wand was made of. This new wand was 13 inches long, was made of cherry wood and had a unicorn hair core. Cherry wood wands are actually extremely rare. They are known to harness strange powers and are capable of very lethal magic. Obviously, this makes them very powerful wands. However, Neville's wand has a unicorn hair core, which means it's very difficult to turn this wand to the dark arts. Unicorn Unicorn hair core makes wands that are capable of the most consistent magic, but they're not necessarily the most powerful wands. Wands with unicorn hair cores are the most faithful ones, though they do become melancholic if they are mishandled. Neville is able to perform the Patronus charm, however, his Patronus is non corporeal. Think of the happiest thing you can. Expect some Patronus. I'm trying. I know. This means that his Patronus is weaker than one that has an actual form, which does put him at more risk. There are quite a few differences in Neville's character between the book series and the movie series. In the fourth movie, Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire, we see that Neville is actually quite good at dancing. In fact, he's one of the last people to leave the Yule Ball. However, in the book, Harry points out that Neville is a really bad dancer and keeps stepping on Ginny's toes. During the fifth movie, Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix, we see Lucius Malfoy drop and break the prophecy ball. Get away from my godson. But in the book, it's actually Neville who's responsible for the prophecy and who's the one who ends up breaking it. We see that in the last movie, Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 2, there are quite a few different scenes from the book. One of these scenes is that we see Neville having a duel with Scabior. Later, we see Neville confess his feelings towards Luna to Harry and Ginny. You haven't seen Luna, have you? Luna? I'm my father. I think it's about time I told her since we'll probably both be dead by dawn. This is an aspect of his character that we see in the books. Matthew Lewis, the actor who plays Neville, has said in interviews that he believes that Neville and Luna had a summer fling, but their relationship didn't last. In the same movie, Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 2, we see Voldemort stun Neville. However, in the books, when Voldemort attacks Neville, he actually burns him. When J.K. Rowling was initially creating this character, she decided to call him Neville Puff. His surname was likely changed to Longbottom because Puff was too close to the name of the house, Hufflepuff. Matthew Lewis actually had to wear a fat suit to play Neville in all of the movies except for the last two. Additionally, Lewis also wore fake teeth during the filming of the fourth movie. That's the, that's the, um... The Cruciatus. Lewis's favourite line that he said as Neville Longbottom comes from the second movie, Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. Why is it always me? Do you think that Neville was placed in Gryffindor House to help make him braver, or do you think he was always brave in his own way? Please tell me in the comment section down below. And until next time, happy bubbles! Thanks so much for watching this video, and thank you to my Patreon bubblers for supporting the channel. If you want to see a playlist of all the other Harry Potter characters I've already covered, you can click on the box on the left, or you can click on the box on the right to see the most recent video that I've published. Thanks for liking this video, subscribing to the channel, and hitting that notification bell.